Hey everybody, and welcome to Morning Coffees with James. I'm James, and this is my Morning Coffee Show. How do y'all doing? Ooh, there we go. Felt something pop right there. In a good way, in a good way, don't panic. I am right now, oh, on, uh, hanging myself upside down like Dracula, or Batman from the 89. Batman. So what you all doing? Hanging out? I look ridiculous, don't I? I think I just need to pull my face down a little bit. There we go. Now I look normal. I don't look normal whatsoever. My, my beard's pointing up. I look like one of those troll dolls. Look, I'm a mop. A human mop. I do look like a troll doll a little bit. There we go. I'll just put it back here for a second. Ah. Uh, it's my magic hair trick, watch. Look at your punch. I'm gonna stick my finger in an electrical socket. Ready? Oh, I'm just trying to stick my hand. No! Nobody messes with you! Ace Ventura, anybody? Uh, anyway, alright, let me just do this real one weird trick real quick. There we go. Alright. Anyway, how's everybody doing in, uh, this shitty post apocalypse this shitty apocalypse. You know, I was hoping the apocalypse was gonna be awesome. Somewhere between either Mad Max, Fallout, The Stand, maybe the division a little bit. Maybe a tint of the division. Not mostly the division, but uh, it's kind of just lame. This is a lame apocalypse. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? Everything's gonna be be going back to normal anyhow. I don't know. I don't know. This ain't Captain's Trip, though. I'm gonna call it Captain's Trip. I don't know. It's just to tease people, but damn. It is. It's surprising how many people know about the Stephen King novel, The Stand, and the miniseries, which was awesome. I don't care if it didn't have a high budget and look corny, alright? When, you, when you're when you doing it for NBC, yes, it was on NBC when I was a young man. When I was a young boy, it was on NBC, so, yeah. Deal with it. Oh. Uh, anyhow, we're all doing good. Yeah, this is uh, this is just a di this is just a post-apocalyptic diary a little bit. Just a twist that what's going on. Anyhow, ooh, ooh, ah, yeah, that's it. loosening up my lower back. Apparently, I don't think it's my I don't think it's a bulge disc. I think now it's a muscle because I can feel a muscle in my butt and it feels like it's just tense on the nerve. I may try something, but I don't know. Right now, I gotta get myself ready uh, for the day. Eat something again because I'm a fucking hobbit. I've turned into a little hobbit or a troll. There we go. Anyhow, oh, oof. Just love stretch, love stretch. Oh, I can't concentrate with this. Ah! Uh, I'll come back uh, but, anyhow, how's everybody doing? So, yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, the apocalypse. No, it's not. It's not even close to a post-apocalyptic future. We're probably going to get like a shitty, uninteresting apocalypse. It's like, come on now. All right, anyhow. Um, right now, I'm just kind of sitting here, not drinking any coffee, which I should, but it is almost noon. I should be eating, getting some more food in my belly, uh, trying to organize my life a little bit so yeah it's a little harder than usual it's getting harder it's getting harder and harder every day it wasn't for the black man it wasn't for the mexican you know and not for the white man it's about coming up and staying on top and screaming 187 on a motherfucking cop sublimes uh april 23rd 1992 
I wasn't talking about saying 187 on the mother undercover cop. That's a song, by the way. If any my if anybody who's a policeman is following me, you know that song exists. So don't get angry. They weren't talking about particularly you as a police officer, but the LAPD. Let's admit the LAPD is not kind. Um, but anyway, ooh, whoops, whoopsie, my Google. Anyhow, uh, yeah, what do we want to talk about today? Well, let's talk about. Uh, I just beat Resident Evil 3, got it done, I beat it on standard with 23 saves and no fucks given. Um, I am going to go replay the game again and record, I am going to make a review of it because I want to talk about uh, Capcom and the remakes because I have, here's the, I'm, uh, quick, you know, the quick and short of it is that I love the remakes but there are problems with them. Uh, I want to make a long form discussing what's wrong with them, but also what, you know, what needed to be done. That's all. Alright, there we go. Oop, there we go. So yeah, so yeah. I'm not trying to be a con contrarian and say, well, the games or the originals were good. The short of it is that the originals were graphically not great, but the originals had more meat to them. So that's like the short of that uh, little little review. So, yeah, right now I'm just getting myself ordered. I'm going to try to clean my room. And what do we want to talk about today? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to really talk about today. And I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes because um, I'm going to try not to swear as much. Because uh, apparently YouTube... Uh, will hunt me down if I don't de declare this uh, to be not safe for children, which is nonsensical because you know what? We're living in a world where, you know, grandma may be dying, yet, but yet Gal Gadot and other celebrities who are living in their fancy ass mansions with their own private gyms, their movie theaters, their little, sa their, the, the, the little in town in a house are telling me to stay home, yet, you know, most of us don't have that. Most of us live in a, you know, a, a fucking cube. A cube. You know, thank God this is not my old... This, thank God I'm not living in the attic. That was a lot worse. If you've ever seen my older stuff on uh, Instagram or YouTube, I used to live in an attic. So, yeah, it sucked. It sucked, it sucked, it sucked. So, yeah, I'm living in a attic. I'm living in my old room. And uh, I'm probably gonna do some uh, rearranging and changing of stuff. So let's see what happens. So I'll take take care. Love you. Bye bye. And I'll see you in the next video. Maybe I don't know. Uh, peace.